Welcome to the Origin Summer Preview with the Dice Tower. In this series, we look at recently released and upcoming games for summer 2014. And now, recorded live at Origins 2014, here's your host, Eric Summerer. Welcome back to the Origins Summer Preview. I'm Eric Summer here with Ted Elsbach from Bezier Games, and we are looking at a game that I'm very excited about because I like building castles. Ah. This is the Castles of Mad King Ludwig. Unless it, you want to say Ludwig. It, it, Ludwig is the way they're supposed to say it. That's the German pronunciation. Sure. We're Americans, so okay. Ludwig, Ludwig is totally acceptable for us. Fine, yes. whatever. We're fine. So, so <laughs> what do we have to do in this game? What, we're so, building castles. In this game. So, you know, there's a lot of games out there that are castle-themed and castle-building, but they don't actually give you the feeling of really building a castle. You're kind of like building battlements or, you know, adding some minions or some crenellations. Okay. Big word. I, I looked Crenellations. it up. I know. That's anyway. good. But you're not actually building that floor plan of a castle. And that's one of the things that you get to do in this game. Uh, it comes, I just have a sample of some of the rooms that, that come with the game here, but it comes with 75 unique rooms. They're different shapes, they're different sizes, they give you different special abilities, and you basically are going to put them together. You're going to add them together and basically slowly build your castle. And uh, you create all sorts of very, very cool, unique shapes by the wow. time you're done. And, and you really just you fit them together the best you can. Yeah, well, there's there's doors on them. Yeah. They just go from doorway to doorway. And uh, then uh, by the time you're done, you're going to have anywhere from 12 to 16, 17 rooms in your castle. Um, wow. Yeah. So that's the basic idea of the game. You're building right. this really uber cool castle. The mechanics for it are, are kind of unique in that every turn there's a master builder. Okay. Um, so let's say I'm the master builder. I'm going to set the prices for certain rooms that are available. So there'll be a, a sheet here um, that actually says, this is a big board. Sure. It says, these are the prices I can set them at, and I'll put one of the rooms below each of those prices. Okay, and they range from 15,000 down to 1,000. Exactly, and okay. marks, so the old German marks from sure. the uh, 19th century. And uh, so I'll set these, and then you will pay me for the room you'd like to build. And I'll basically be building that room in your castle. Okay. Each player will pay me for the, one of the rooms. Uh, from the ones that are remaining, I pay the bank for one and add it to my castle. Oh. Anything that's not chosen, we put a dollar on, Puerto Rico style. Um, and then we pass that master builder token to the next person. They get some more things out here to fill in all the spaces. They set okay. the prices, and we keep doing it. All right. So that's the basic flow of the game. But one of the really cool things about the game is that each of these different types of rooms here gives you a special reward when you complete it. To complete a room, you basically just have to have all the entrances in the room. So this red room here has three entrances. Okay. If I have all the entrances go to other rooms, it's considered complete. Okay. At that point, I get a special reward. The reward for completing these red rooms is five extra points. All right. Uh, some of the rooms give rewards like an extra turn you can take right away, or nice. more money, or you get to decide what rooms come out next, all sorts of things like that. So all the different types of rooms that are in the castle give you something special. And so you're building, you're, you're getting points as you build, you're getting points as you get these rewards. There are some favors uh, that you're trying to all compete for. Uh, similar to Suburbia, but instead of the one player take all, it's kind of a tiered system. Whereas the most of something, then the next most, and the next most, you okay. get uh, successively less points for. All right. And the game takes about an hour and 15 minutes. Everyone gets to build their own castle. It's what awesome. Go I'm very off. excited about it. Yeah. Sounds good. It's time frame. Time frame is Essen. Essen. It's will be out in October. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ted. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you join us for the rest of our summer preview videos. We'd like to thank Gamma and Origins for making these videos possible. And we hope that all of you have fun gaming. See you next time.